All right, welcome everybody back to Ark Survival Evolved. This is Nick of Pals Gaming, and uh, today we're doing a little, uh, little instructional video. Um, this is primarily for all you beach bobs out there, um, but there should be a few things that even more advanced players should be able to enjoy. Uh, this is the first of our Arcpedia. This is the first of our Arcpedia videos. We're going to do one of these on each and every one of the dinos in Arc, and so we're better to start than with our friend, the Dodo. All right, so we're gonna get right into it here. Uh, first thing we want to show you is dodos in the wild. So we have a bunch of them in here. And uh, dodos are pretty easy to kill. You could do it with your bare hands. Just walk on boom, punch them in the face until they drop. They are super loud. And <laughs> uh, w when you start hitting one, they all start freaking out and running in every di direction. Uh, if you punch them, they're generally going to go unconscious before they die. Um, now, for taming, easiest way to do it is just drop some measure berries in their inventory. They are a knockout tame. I do have the taming rates up pretty high right now. <laughs> um, but, a new dodo. Perfect. They do prefer basic kibble and even vegetables, uh, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, another way you can knock them out is by smacking them with a club or by hitting them with rocks from a slingshot, which I do not currently have. You can also use a bow with tranquilizer arrows, which if you haven't made those yet, you just combine an arrow with tranquilizer, <laughs> which you can make in a mortar and pestle. Uh, you can also use a crossbow, uh, which I just did. Right there. And uh, crossbows do more damage, both torpor and regular damage. You have to be careful. Uh, if you get a high damage crossbow, you can um, sometimes kill them before they get knocked out. And of course, the most widely used method of taming just about anything is the long neck rifle, uh, which you use the tranquilizer darts, which work very quickly. And of course, it's a little bit overkill, but you could, of course, use shocking uh, tranquilizer darts on dodos. Um, I don't recommend it, especially when you're prone to miss at point-blank range for some reason. Uh, but it's definitely a thing you can do. And, of course, there's always the boomerang if you happen to be on a map that allows you to make them, uh, like Scorched Earth. You gotta be careful with them. Sometimes they do a bit too much damage, though. So the low-level ones, you're better off just punching them. Um, when you're harvesting, like always, use pickaxe to collect uh, more meat. And, of course, uh, if you use an axe, it will collect more hide, just like every other animal in the game. Uh, on Primitive Plus, you can also get feathers and poultry from these guys as well. Uh, so now this is an egg hutch. It's by no means the only way that you can build one, um, but this is a pretty standard layout. Uh, we have the ramps there. It's tough to um, have the eggs fall down in this kind of setup uh, just because they are hard to kind of maneuver where you want them to be. I've seen people use a catwalk so that the eggs just fall down, but um, it doesn't really matter that much. It's not that hard to pick them out. Also, these are among the only animals to lay eggs without a mate, I believe. Um, and they lay eggs pretty frequently, so. Um, there isn't much in the way of settings for these. Um, there's no harvesting that they are really going to do. There's nothing. The only thing that you can kind of uh, do on these that at all matters is the new enable mating setting. Uh, so we're going to set a bunch of these to mating enabled and see if we can get some... Uh, action going in here um, they do need to be pretty close together so these two here are even though they're like right on top of each other they're still a little hair too far apart um, so we'll see what we, we can do fortunately you can always just throw the male in the direction of uh, whatever female you want uh, so it looks like that one is going to be mating and uh, we'll check back in on them in a little bit uh, in the meantime let's get these guys going 
mating, enable mating, perfect. And uh, it is a little too cold here um, for dodo eggs to hatch. They need to be between 22 and 36 degrees uh, Celsius. I'll put the uh, conversion into Fahrenheit in the uh, description below. But we're going to grab this egg and get into what we really want to see, which is basic kibble. All right, so basic kibble is the most basic of kibble recipes. Um, you uh, you can use it to tame a lot of the smaller dinos that you can that you use at the beginning of the game. Um, we're gonna get everything we can in here, and so you're gonna need armor berries. You need ten of them. You're gonna need a, some cooked meat, of course, an extra small egg, uh, five fiber, five medjo berries. Uh, you need something to burn, obviously, and 10 tinto berries. You're also going to need some water. Uh, here we have water jars, but you can also use a water skin. As long as it's a quarter of the way full of water skin, it should work. And so now there you have it, basic kibble. Alrighty, we're going to test this baby out. Uh, so we're going to go back outside. Uh, sorry, we're still under construction here. <laughs> Alright, this is the one uh, item that we didn't use before, which is the electric cattle prod. Bam! out like a light. So we're going to put the basic kibble in the inventory and uh, wait until now. <laughs> uh, like I said, taming rates are pretty high on this, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, now, extra small eggs uh, and basic kibble can be used to tame dillos, uh, which we're going to get into in another video. Uh, of course, dodos, and you can see sheesh, she's already laid two eggs. She's only been sitting here a few minutes. Um, they're just fantastic egg layers. The Kairuku, uh, which is the denizen of the north, unlike in real life. They also keep you warm, but that's another video. Uh, Parasaurs, yes, our friends who warn us from danger in early game. The Fiomia, of course, and the Mesopithecus, which is a passive tame. Now, breeding. Uh, like we were talking about before, um, this is a little cold over here in order to hatch these eggs. Uh, we're going to grab this one up and uh, get some fires going in order to uh, warm it up. We like fire. 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 There we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to drop the egg. Do not eat the egg. A lot of people, their first instinct is to double click or double tap A or whatever button you have. Do not eat the egg. Um, so you'll notice there that it's too hot in here now um, for this egg. So we're gonna need to put some of this fire out. I know it's really, really hard to see these a lot of times because of the way that the tool tip pops up. Uh, let's see, one fire is not enough, but two fires seems to be about right. Uh, we've got to work on the timer so that we can see this sometime today. And so, after <laughs> turning up this, the uh, timers and uh, get grabbing another egg, we should have two dodo eggs here on the floor getting ready to hatch. Alrighty. So you can see that blue bar, uh, that's the hatching bar that's going down. Once that's done, it will hatch like that. Uh, the egg health one, that's the one you want to worry about because if that goes down, then the egg will die. Uh, you do have to imprint on them first. You get a chance to name them, which we're not going to do today. All right, and now they're technically yours. Um, you can disable wandering, which I recommend. Um, also, you want to watch them so that you can imprint on them, uh, right? They could need cuddling. They could need a particular food, like the samurberry. Works the same as a passive tame. Put it in the last slot in the hot bar. Um, you also might need to take them for a walk occasionally. <laughs> uh, so just have them follow you. Make sure, once again, that they're off wandering so that when you, they stop following you. And uh, here we are, two grown dodos. You can pick them up, put them where they want them, throw them. It's all fun. And you can ride other dinos while you're carrying them, too. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for liking and sharing the videos if you like and want to share them. If you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell so you can get a notification every time we put out a new video. It's been a great time, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.